first look at the realism illustrations. Whereas traditional realism illustration expresses the static beauty through fine engravings, contemporary realism illustration is more than that. It shows the real world in a dynamic form. Unlike photos, the art reveals the real world. The artists add thoughts and feelings into their works. In addition to the traditional realism style, new expressions such as humor and exaggerations were added. Enriching the work's expressive power. Let's take a look at the piece now. It is a theater in the night. The picture is in a very low light tone, and we can feel the warmth of the light and also see the details of the architecture and the finely depicted costumes of the characters. From the costumes, the lighting, the volume of the building, or rather the delicacy, all bring a sense of aristocratic state of life of the upper class. I think that's the point that this piece is trying so hard to make. In addition, in terms of light treatment, all the bright parts of the picture focuses on the visual center and the surrounding parts are darkened, which gives the picture a mixture feeling of tight and loose. Look at this piece. It paints George Walker Bush in a realistic way. The artist draws realistically and uses five-pointed stars in the background. These stars are not complete, but they remind us that it is the flag of the United States. The next two pieces are very special. First, look at the turtle. It is presented in an unrealistic way. Artist combines the turtle and the building together. These are two completely different things. When they are combined, there is a surreal feeling. The work is also delicately depicted. The texture of the turtle skin has a mottled grayness, which is painted to perfection. This one does the same. It's half rhinoceros and half human. These kind of combinations will add fun to the picture. Now for this piece, the artist draws a lion, but he drew it exaggeratedly. For example, parts of its facial features are enlarged so that we seem to see this line through a distorting mirror. This piece is finely painted and the texture of the lion's fur is fluffy. This kind of work takes a lot of time. Then take another look at this one. The artist combines realism and collage. It's partly done with collage and partly with pencils. The atmosphere of the painting is in the drab tone with a hint of vintage. So to me, I feel a strong sense of affinity. Then look at the Indian on the lower left of the work his headdress, the feathers were painted in great detail. The figures are drawn to exaggerated proportions with large heads and very small bodies. The author used a lot of techniques to complete the characters in this work. While the style is very realistic, it is different from the work we've seen before. Like um, Bush Jr. and the lion are painted delicately, very carefully draw, bit by bit. And this piece is not common. It uses a lot of brush strokes. If we look closer, we'll see these big strokes. But these strokes do not make us feel that the painting is unrealistic. It still shows the facial features of the characters. The usage of light and shadow can even make us feel the texture of the cotton of the hood and the layers of it. In all, 
Realism can be used not only in a very subtle way, but also in a rough way to achieve the same pictorial effect, and I think this work is very well done.